In this video, we're going to focus on the border radius option in Chart.js plugin for data labels. And with this, we can create a bit more nice rounded style. So let's look at our current uh, item here. You can see here right now we have this these nice square boxes basically or nice. To be honest, I like more the border radius to create a border radius in here to give this a bit more appeal. So let's start and work with the border radius. And basically in here, it's quite straightforward. You go in here and we select the border radius and you can see the num. it's a number type, meaning it's just a number. And the value by default is set on zero. It is scriptable, so we can play around with them. And I think that's a, that might be fun to play around to explore how this works. Uh, uh, sorry, it's scriptable and indexable. Let's play around with the indexable option here on the border radius just to see how it eventually will look like all right so what we're going to do in here we're going to because we want to have them uh, set in the options and then probably i realize that this needs to be fine-tuned as well because i don't like this so i'm going to fine-tune that one as well at the same time so we say here border radius border radius and once we have the border radius here we need to make this a uh, array basically this indicates an array in javascript and then we put in here the index so this is index number one or sorry zero index zero will have one pixel then we have two pixel border radius three pixel four pixel five pixel and six pixel we have a total of six values here so once we save this go back here refresh you can see here we have a very small edge and then here it starts to get more smoother this getting more smoother more rounded rounded and finally here rounded Maybe we can make it even more intense, or we can intensify it a bit more by just putting it in uh, in larger digits, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. So save that, refresh here, and now you can see here it comes round and round, and then it starts to get very narrow, extremely very, and that is basically how it is. So what I want to do here in this case, because this is of course not what we want, most commonly is four or five pixels is more than enough. So in my case here, I'm going to put five pixels. Refresh. All right, that's acceptable, I guess. And if you say, well, this is not that nice, don't worry about this. We will find fine tune this later on with some paddings. However, what I do want to do is I want to make this dry, meaning by that is to make this a variable and then just put it in here. Because this right now is duplication here multiple times, and that doesn't make any sense at all. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to create a new constant. And I see here this should normally also be a constant. That's fine. So this constant will be called um, background. Well, we can do background color itself. Equals what exactly? Well, the background color. Copy this. Oh, paste this in here. So the moment we paste it in here, put this here. All right, semicolon at the end. See if we can just fine tune this a little bit. So what happened now is basically this value is become a variable or a constant in our case. So copy this counts constant. And then we say here, the background color will be equal background color, which makes sense. Same can do here because this is the exact same data set. Besides it, all right, background color. And then here we have also the background color. So the background color here as well, there we are. So this is far more cleaner and let's do the same thing here for the border color so we have both of these done we say here border color equal equal our value here this is an array make it indexable there you are there and then there oh that's not what i wanted sorry and there and finally there we are. All right. Semicolon at the very end. Save this. Refresh. Now you can see here we have this, but then this is the border color variable. Put it in here. Put it in there. And you can see now we're just removing or reducing the amount of code in here to make it dry. Of course, dry is fine. Although I do believe that documentation, which is also quite commonly dry, is not really the right process. If you want to learn, you want to learn from every possible angle so that you really understand it. So the more explanation, the better. Well, for code, the lesser code you use, the better. 
because it's a faster the browser will load. All right, so you can see here right now we have this. What I would probably like to do is I would say here the color here should eventually be white and bolded, and then we put in here just a solid color. The background color should be matching with the border color inside. So this should be border color within the background color. But that's for later on, we'll work on that. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy it. And if you enjoy this video, you probably will enjoy this one as well. And if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.